Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a feisty couple in love that loves to get Fight, Fight Night, Night Friday. Friday. And so for this Fight Night Friday, we're checking out Super Smash Brothers again. So this is Super Smash Brothers Wii U, all uh, Palutena's guidance, secret conversations. Um, so we're gonna check that out. I know they got some more stuff for uh, Ultimate as well. So we're gonna start with this one. And um, yeah, if you want all of our Smash Brothers reactions, check out the description of this video. We got playlists there for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mario! You know hmm. who this guy is, don't you, Pit? Of course I do! It's Mario! <laughs> he's so excited. He's the first ally in the fight against the subspace army. What you may not know is that he's actually quite famous. Mm -hmm. There aren't many people who don't know who Mario is. Man, I don't know whether to fight him or ask for his autograph. Aww. Fight first, fanboy later. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he'll sign my wings? <laughs> Do you think he'll sign my Look, wings? It's Luigi. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Oh! oh don't say that. After all, he even had his own year. I don't remember that. Though I suppose if he's number two out of all these fighters, that's actually pretty good. His attacks are no joke. You're right. Have you seen his super jump punch and green missile? In some ways, he might even be stronger than his brother. Too bad about that unfortunate L on his forehead. Oh, <laughs> with an L on his forehead. Oh, it's Princess Peach. Yeah, she's taking a break from being kidnapped. <laughs> I'm so glad we never have to worry about Lady Palutena. She can take care of herself. Mm -hmm. Really? Wasn't she imprisoned by Medusa for a <laughs> Oh. That hardly counts. After all, we were just freshmen back then. That would never happen now that we're more experienced. Peach has been in plenty of scrapes herself, so she ought to be quite experienced. And yet, she never learns. No. Sometimes I wonder if she just lets herself get kidnapped for fun. <laughs> I don't know about that. It seems like tossing vegetables is more her idea of fun. She'll <laughs> with them the whole match if you don't watch it. But she can't reload when she's jumping, so keep your eye on what she's up to. Is that a little when tip I there? Think of Bowser. I always picture him deep in his castle, stealing himself for a fight. Or, yep. you know, playing golf or racing a go-kart. <laughs> he's looking pretty aggro today. Must be because he's, he's in, the game. in Mario Kart, actually. When Mario first fought Bowser, I hear he had to use an axe to chop down a rope bridge and drop the big guy. It all sounds like something from an 8-bit action movie. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm a little scared. You should you be. Bowser may be powerful, but he also leaves big openings. Mm -hmm. Fight smart and look for chances to counterattack. Yeah, how do you think Mario won against him? Yeah, exactly. It's Yoshi! <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yoshi lays eggs, but he's actually male? Uh, yeah, we don't ask questions. Shouldn't yeah. you know that, oh goddess of nature? <laughs> There's it's Mr. Piccolo. About this guy. Yeah. I'm not a Yoshi. I see your point. <laughs> well, all living beings contain both female and male elements. It appears that Yoshi is no different. Wonder what's inside all those eggs. Chocolate? <laughs> Focus pit. If you use your shield when Yoshi's pulling off an egg roll, you can grab him. Keep that in mind. Hmm. And here she we really have does Rosalina. give good Yes, she's also? the keeper of the Comet Observatory and mother of the Lumas. Hmm. Why is that comfy pillow following her? <laughs> I love pillows. That is a Luma, and this is no pillow fight. It does look pretty plush, I have to say. You know, Rosalina seems kind of rough with the little guy. There are plenty of Lumas, so losing a few isn't a big deal. Oh. Not a big deal? Lumas will sacrifice everything to protect Rosalina. Aww. They may not look like much, but they're powerful enough to send you flying, so be careful. Yeah, go get him, little Rosalina. Is that Bowser Jr.? Or Luna, I mean? Yes, he's the heir to the Koopa throne. <laughs> I wonder if his father bought him that junior clown car. It's hmm. decked out with all sorts of bells and whistles. Like Bib and like, hey, yeah. I just thought of an even better name for it. How about the Shellicopter? Needless to say, the Junior Clown Car is one tricky vehicle. It's immune to many attacks, so strike when Bowser Jr. is exposed. So what you're saying is to hit him from above, right? Right. Um, Wario. Wario kind of smells. Scratching his ass. That's to be expected. For his final smash, he munches nasty garlic and transforms into his super anti-hero alter ego, Wario Man. Uh, Wario Man? <laughs> yes. Legend has it that Wario once caught a cold, accidentally ate a piece of nasty garlic, and turned into Wario Man. Huh. 
So nasty garlic is the key to Wario's power. Yeah. Great. He's a real charmer, that one. Speaking of which, eating seems to make Wario very gassy. Oh. TMI? I'm only telling you this for your own good. He's a ticking time bomb. Watch out for his sudden farts. And all farts <laughs> in general. They're gross and dangerous. This job is really the worst sometimes. <laughs> hey, it's a shadow bug. No, that's just Mr. Game and Watch. Watch out for number nine, Pit! Mr. Uh, Game and Watch? What are you talking about? Mr. Game and Watch's judge attack displays random numbers. And when it displays nine, the attack is devastating. Hmm. Getting hit with a nine will knock out any fighter with a single strike. Oh, damn. Wow. If his back is against the wall, Mr. Game and Watch might try his luck with a judge attack. Leaving victory up to luck doesn't seem like the best strategy. Well, luck is part of every victory. Yeah, if you're so you about to die anyways. Yourself, Pit. Might as well Looks get like up to luck. Donkey! DK. His arms are like tree trunks, so his attacks are incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. Given his size, We're gonna see Diddy he also moves quite yeah. quickly. Combine that speed and power with his long reach, and you've got an opponent who's good at almost everything. Yeah, except for dressing himself. That necktie really doesn't leave much to the imagination. <laughs> True, but it is his signature look. It's probably best not to mention it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of one of his giant punches. So that one's Palutino. Who's the other one? When he attacks you, don't, don't use your shield. She's Just sassy. Get out of the way. She is. And then counterattack. And watch where you come in for a landing. Oh, look. It's Diddy Kong. Diddy! He's Donkey Kong's little buddy. Yeah. I wonder if he'd let me win for a banana. He might. Don't underestimate Actually, him might, just yeah. because he's a monkey. <laughs> he's faster and stronger than any human. As long as he can't fly, I'm good. <laughs> he can't fly, but he does have a peanut pop gun and an inexhaustible supply of peanuts to shoot at you. <laughs> so? <laughs> I love peanuts. Not when they're pelting you in the face. <laughs> I don't know. Still sounds pretty good to me. Oh, Pit, what won't you do for a snack? <laughs> Fighting does take strength. It's like anyway, Goku. If you can hit Diddy Kong at just the right angle, he'll drop his rocket barrel pack. However, it explodes when it lands on the ground, so watch out. Of all the fighters, Link. Link is the one I most want to take down. Oh, why is that? You look up to him? We were born around the same time. Mm. And we both use a bow. He's totally ripping off my skin. <laughs> oh, Comparing Link to you is like comparing a star to a campfire. Oh. oh. Just look at those chiseled features. <laughs> Could seriously cut glass. Oh my god, she's uh, awesome. Earth to Viridi. Viridi, okay. Oh, I'm only kidding. The goddess of nature would never be interested in some hairless monkey. Oh, humans aren't all that bad. I could introduce you to him if you'd like. Hmm. Uh, if you insist. <laughs> Back to the fight at hand. Pit, you can reflect Link's projectile attacks using your guardian orbitars. Just watch out for his dreamy claw shots. This isn't quite the Zelda you're used to. Ooh. I hear she no longer changes form in battle. That's right, but she's got a new special move, the Phantom Slash. Where does she get the Phantom from? It's hard to say. Magic. Wow, I didn't realize she was such a powerful magician. I could do something similar, I'm sure, but it's pretty dark magic. Hmm. Now what part of you should I use to make your Phantom? My Phantom? Uh, you don't have to do that for me, Lady Palutena. Oh, don't be scared. I'll just equip you and... <laughs> uh, what will it cost me? Oh, I your don't know. Your soul. Maybe just your oh. soul. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Look how pale he got. <laughs> You're really scaring him. Uh, listen, Pit. If you can knock Zelda's phantom out, she won't be able to call it back for a bit. Keep an eye on her. I wish I knew Sheik's true identity. It is one of the great mysteries hmm. of our time. Sheik from... Compared to the other fighters, Sheik moves very quickly. Don't get overwhelmed by Sheik's speed, especially one on one. Hmm. This Ganondorf guy definitely Ooh. has the evil look down pat. He so can Sheik sometimes must be from... take another form. As Ganon, he's known um, as the King Zelda. of Darkness. Zelda, since all, since they're all like, kind of grouped together. The King yeah. of Darkness. He's brought Hyrule to the brink of ruin more times than I can count. Hmm. My Archvillain database doesn't bring up anything about his past. Wow. I didn't know you had that app. 
<laughs> a goddess must preserve some sense of mystery. <laughs> huh? One thing you should know, Pit, is that there are many different Ganons. Just like there are multiple Links and Zeldas. But don't let that confuse you. I've spent years. I know, Link had like a multiverse as well. Remember, Ganondorf is as heavy the as Legend he is Zelda. powerful. Use yeah, that to your I. advantage. Toon Link. Of my head. He must be the famous Toon Link. Where would he get that name from, anyway? It's probably because he looks like he jumped yeah. right out of a cartoon. Ah, oh, come on. I see how it is. Pit. <laughs> What's the matter, Pit? It's just not fair, Lady Palatina. One Link is handsome, and the other is adorable. <laughs> the picking the best bits. Ah, oh, is poor Pit feeling a little insecure today? Snap out of it, Pit. You have a fight to focus on. Here's the deal. Toon Link is quick, but lighter than regular Link. Okay. Don't get distracted by his weapon <coughs> or his intense cuteness. Wait for that. Just calm down. Just tickle my nose. The best counterattack. Oh look, Samus. there's Metroid. That's not a Metroid. That's Samus. Just like Link isn't named Zelda. And my pit name isn't Icarus. Yep. Okay, this joke has officially run. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on then, Pit. You can reflect Samus's charge shot with your Guardian Orbitars. However, Samus can throw a storm of shots at you. If you use your orbitars too often, she'll know what you're up to. So try to reflect strategically, as opposed to your usual game plan. Feels like they made her look uh, more feminine than like they did like in the first Samus. Metroid games and stuff like she that. She usually wears heavy armor, but not in this incarnation. And I was like, even so, she's still pretty powerful. She has some pretty hurdy looking equipment. Getting kicked by those jet boots has got a sting. You have a good deal Damn of pretty stylish. looking equipment yourself, Pit. Yeah, and can you believe that there's some fighters that battle empty-handed? Crazy! Like Mario. It's all about discipline, not weaponry. Don't worry, though. When we get home, I'll enroll you in Palatina's boot camp. Hmm. That'll fix you right <laughs> up. Or I can just keep my weapons. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway, Zero Suit Samus is a difficult target to hit. Keep your attacks <laughs> sure and steady. Wait a sec. Is that... me? It certainly appears to be the case. You're awfully calm about this, Lady Palatina. Well, we've been through a similar situation in the past, don't you recall? Yeah, but it's still freaky. It's like looking through a twisted mirror. That reminds me. You're just wearing different clothes. You know how Dark Pit came from a mirror? Then why doesn't he move left when I move right, and vice versa? <laughs> Beats me. But you're supposed to know everything. Don't you have an all-seeing eye and an all-knowing brain and all that? My all-seeing eye sees you getting hit. Oh! Oh, man, really? I'm sure the true pit would triumph over any doppelganger. So I guess now we'll see if you're the real deal. Oh, I'm no pressure. One more thing. Have you noticed that I can kind of fly on my own a bit? Actually, it's called jumping, pit. <laughs> Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Ah, uh, piss on the sharpest tool shit. Don't sound so dismayed. Think of it more as a sporting event and less as a massacre. Oh. I really don't want to hurt you. That's awfully presumptuous of you, Pit. Please, I know better than anyone else what Lady Palatine is capable of. After all, I fought her once before. Good luck, Pit. You're going to need it. Hmm. Of course, I won't be giving you any hints during this battle. Nice. And no powers or centurions either. Get a load of Mr. Fancy Pants here. <laughs> Is that jealousy I detect in your voice, Pits? Why would I be jealous of Marth? Well, he's a prince for starters. A handsome prince. <laughs> and you're just... Anyway, Pit. Prince Marth's most dangerous attack comes from the tip of his sword. Avoid Poison? his blade when you're at mid-range. So I should either attack him from a distance or get up close and personal. He's got a counter as well, so be on guard when you go hand-to-hand. -hand. If you're attacking from afar, use items to improve your chances. Does Ike look a little different to you? A little... tougher? Hmm... His clothes look different. And his sword looks even more menacing. Yes, I suppose you're right. And he definitely hasn't aged well. Well, compared to gods and angels like us, Ike is just a baby. I don't know how old you are, Pit, but you don't look like you've grown at all. <laughs> She's so oh, mean to Pit. Like you're one to talk. How old are you, anyway? Ten? A goddess never reveals her age, Pit. 
Break it up, you two. Back to Ike. He has a powerful side smash that will send you flying, but that's also his weakness. Hmm. He's very vulnerable at that time, so dodge it and strike back. I claim this victory in the name of Sky World! Sky World! Sky World! Sky World! Yeah! Sky World! Sky World! Sky World! Sky World! <laughs> There's something weird about this fighter, Lady Palatina. He's just That's reading. Robin, also known as the Avatar. I wonder where Krom is. Who knows? Probably taking a nap at home. I'm no idle layabout. Oh, hey! Whoa! Where did you come from? Robin is a skilled strategist and master of both Eleven Sword and magic. Certainly more useful than a simple swordsman like myself. Plus, you and Ike are too similar. No point in having two characters that are pretty much carbon copies, <laughs> am I right? Excuse me? What's mm -hmm. more, you don't have an ether recovery move like Ike does, do you? Quiet, you. <laughs> oh, don't tell her to be quiet. Hand. Robin can use the Leaven Sword and magic only so many times. Use this limit to your advantage, Pit. Got it. This fight is in the bag. It's like V. I I just be reading so sure. the book, is he? Mm. For Robin's final smash, I plan on lending a hand. <laughs> and then you'll taste the bitterness of defeat. We know you're trying to play the hero and all, but you can only join in if Robin gets the smash ball, right? You'll taste the bitterness of defeat right after Robin gets the smash ball. <laughs> Kirby! Kirby! Oh, pick Kirby out of crowd. Aww, he's so squishy and adorable. Yeah. True, but he's still a formidable foe. He's got all kinds of moves, and he's top-notch at recovering. Does this guy have any weaknesses? No. Just what you'd expect. His weight, or rather his lack of weight. So it shouldn't be hard to send them flying, huh? Right. The question is how to do that. Oh, that part's easy. Just keep wailing on him. <laughs> and we'll see who's stronger. That little puffball or Kirby. Ouch. Who's this, Lady Palatina? Hmm, That's Penguin? Mm -hmm. So, what do I need to know about him? He's a heavyweight, but has it's the ability with the to Mario crew, though? and his hammer attack is no joke. But every fighter has a weakness. For example, when King DDD throws a spiky Gordo, you can hit it right back at him. If you can eliminate him by reflecting the Gordo, that will count as your KO. The Gordo? The fat? Uh, what's a KO? Good luck, Pit. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Meta Knight looks like under that mask. Apparently quite similar to Kirby. If he took off his mask, could he inhale things too? Maybe. And maybe he has Kirby's copy ability as well. So if a maskless Meta Knight copied a masked Meta Knight... Well, then he'd just be back where he started. Anyway, be careful of his quick blade and his spinning attacks. They don't have a lot of power, so use your shield until you see an opening. This guy looks Lil Mac! Hard. Nice! Mac. Punch boxer, out. Fighting is sort of his thing. No one can match his strength on the ground. But in an aerial battle, he's helpless. So you want to get him in the air and keep him from landing. He has a power meter that once full, lets him unleash a lethal attack. He seems tiny though. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's a little mad. <laughs> but even with his small stature, he's triumphed over many heavyweight boxers. Pretty impressive for a puny human. Bring it on. The stronger the opponent, the more interesting the fight. That's the spirit! Uh, I can keep using my weapons, right? Ugh, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Got any tips for fighting Fox? Fox McCloud is the leader of the mercenary flight team, Star Fox. His trademark is incredible speed. It's about time you showed up, Fox! That was a terrible General Pepper pig. <laughs> you should be wary of his blaster, too. Everybody, stay alert! Focus, Pit. You might think Fox's blaster doesn't hurt all that much and ignore it, but you'll soon find you've taken lots of damage. Sorry, Needles back. Okay, I'll just reflect his shots with my Guardian Orbitars. I figured you'd say that. Huh? Is that not what I should do? Like I said, he's quick on his feet, so there's no telling when he'll suddenly rush in and grab you. You've got to watch your back constantly when Fox is around. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Do you know who this is, Pit? Falco Lombardi? Ace pilot on the Star Fox team? Great jumper! Exactly. 
Captain Falcon's already got the Falco. Still a fanboy. Falco looks more like a pheasant to me. Oh. Mm, sounds delicious. If I were you, I'd keep your voice down. If he hears you, he'll make you eat his boots. Falco used to be the leader of a galactic gang, so you can expect him to be good in a fight. I'm starting to freak out here. I mean, this guy is famous throughout the entire galaxy. Watch out for long-range attacks, like his reflector shot and blaster. You'll see he's quick on the draw. Aw, look at that cute little guy. Pika? It's a Pokemon. And not just any Pokemon. The Pokemon. Actually, that Pokemon is called a Pikachu. Pikachu evolves from Pichu, and when a Pikachu is fully evolved, it becomes a rare. I hate a Pikachu in Smash Bros. It's rare for a Pokemon to be more famous in its middle stage than its final evolution. Mm. True, but Pikachu is a special case. <laughs> I mean, it's the most famous of all the Pokemon. Yeah, uh, he's so adorable. Me? Hello. What is it, Pit? I hate to interrupt your musings on Pokemon. But I could really use some Smash Brothers help right about now. Oh, right. I forgot where we were. Okay, here's a tip. Dodge Pikachu's thunder and then counterattack. You can also zap Pikachu by reflecting its thunder back at itself. And nothing is more satisfying than that. <laughs> oh, wow. It's Charizard. Just look at those majestic wings. Yeah, but I like him when he's a little baby. Those wings might be yeah. majestic to look at, but they don't help much in the flying or gliding department. A little short in the flight department. That sounds like a familiar predicament. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, Pitch, denial doesn't look good on you. <laughs> At least Charizard can use its wings for attacking. And I can use my wings to fly. When Lady Palatina grants me the power of flight, that is. You know, I've always wondered if the power of flight would work anywhere besides your wings. Like your hair, for instance. That's not funny. I'd go bold. But I digress. Charizard has another attack called Flare Blitz. It's powerful but dangerous, even to Charizard. Either way, dodge the attack and keep your distance while waiting for your chance to strike back. What the heck is that? Oh, that's Lucario. What about it? I've never seen a creature with a life force like that. It's like a current of water or a whirlpool. Oh, you mean Lucario's aura. Aura? Lucario can so we're not going to see Squirtle force, in this? Or aura, emanating from all living things. As Lucario takes more damage, its own aura grows stronger. Ingenious! Mm. Lucario sounds like a perfect fit for the forces of nature. We need to focus on the fight at hand. You focus on the fight at hand. I gotta catch my new recruit. <laughs> I love her. No, stop! Hit, a wounded Lucario is stronger than it looks. Be extra careful when it's taken lots of damage. That's Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. Look at the way it floats. It must be light as air. Don't let its cuddly appearance fool you. It's one of the most aerodynamic fighters out there. And it has a deadly attack called Rest. When Jigglypuff lands this move, the effects can be devastating. However, that move does render Jigglypuff vulnerable for a short period of time afterward. Mm. So when you see Jigglypuff start to fall asleep, that's your cue to move in for the kill. Gotcha. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for when it nods off. Mm-hmm. What is that? What is that? Kind of ninja frog? <gasps> That's the Pokemon Greninja. Its strengths are agility and speed. What looks ninja like a frog. scarf is actually its tongue. Oh, oh cool. Just rubbing spicy peppers all over yourself. How can Greninja taste anything with its tongue hanging out like that? It could be one of those rare ninjas that just eats very slowly. <laughs> what? But that makes no sense. Anyway, just tell me how to win. Greninja creates throwing stars out of compressed those water and that unleashes them at high speed. It's slowly is that this a reference to uh, called Water Shuriken. Goku, if Greninja so starts to charge mm, up its ninja. Water Shuriken, be prepared to reflect it back. I want to fight that cute duck hunt. Oh, you won't. You'll be fighting the dog and the duck. Oh. So if I win, you're a monster. Is on the menu for dinner? Oh. <sighs> Let's take things one step at a time, Pit. These two may seem like a duo, but they're actually a trio. Together, they're known as Duck Hunt. What's the third? So where's the third yeah. team member? That would be us, right? Listen, just be careful. You could get oh. shot from nowhere. Yeah. A mysterious sharpshooter, eh? Well, that does make things more exciting. Look at that cute little robot. R.O.B. isn't a very creative name for a robot. <laughs> I think it has a certain ring to it. 
No way! Any name's better than R.O.B. Like, hmm... How about Mr. HVC-012? Mm, that doesn't no. exactly really? roll off the tongue. How about RoboBuddy 3rd Edition? That's not and bad. Okay. The first two <laughs> oh, good point. How about Zergblatron? Let's just keep things simple by calling him Rob. The light on its head shows you the strength of the laser it's about to fire. The moment you forget about it, it'll unleash its laser at maximum power. So watch out! Thanks. I'm picking up on some weird kind of energy here. What you feel is Ness's PSI. What's PSI? It's a general term for supernatural abilities. <laughs> supernatural? Isn't that pretty unscientific? Said the angel to the goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Pit, we're having this conversation via telepathy. Meanwhile, the power of flight is a type of psychokinesis, and I see you from the heavens using clairvoyance. Finally, I call you back from the battlefield with something akin to teleportation. And believe me, I truly appreciate all that stuff you do with things. <laughs> anyway, if Ness tries to recover via PK Thunder and you reflect it, that will really ruin his day. Give it a try when you get a chance. Gotta use the little arm. Mm -hmm. It's Captain Falcon! Oh, he's a captain! What ship does he command? I think he's more like a pilot or something. All these fighters have tons of skill and experience, but you can still hold your own. If we brought vehicles into the picture, though, that would be a totally different story. Good thing that's not it's the case. Odd that he's not like. I'd be no match for an F Zero machine or. Turn the other way. Plus, mm -hmm. those G well, I guess he's lefty because. Just give him the butt shot. Yep. Oh, uh, you sure know a lot about space machinery, for being the goddess of nature and all. Anyway, if you're near Captain Falcon, watch out for his jump and Falcon Punch combo. Oh look, it's the villager! <laughs> villager, huh? What the hell is- That's not a very creative name. No, it's not. Well, what else do you call someone from a village? Anyway, you've got to respect the villager. Word has it no one fights fairer than that one. Oh. Why is that? Probably because where the villager's from, there's a mole who goes around punishing cheaters. Oh, good. Anyway, the villager's Lloyd rocket can do some real damage, so try your best to reflect it back. Oh, it's that explorer guy. Did you know that Pikmin are what named after Pik Pik carrots, a vegetable native to Hokitate? What? Huh. Guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. What are those things behind it? Let's talk carrot strategy. Here's what I know about those Pikmin. Red Pikmin are strong. Yellow Pikmin fly high. Blue so Pikmin, Pikmin have the mightiest throw. White Pikmin and he's are fastest. Purple Pikmin are heavy and the most powerful. Be sure you remember all this, Pit. Uh, right. There are also winged Pikmin that don't attack you. Numerous Pikmin will weigh down the winged Pikmin, and that's when you should attack. Who's this now? <laughs> the Wii She's Fit the Trainer Wii. was... She's an exercise coach. <laughs> oh, sports. amazing. I hope you're in shape, Pit. Well, I walk everywhere, so I'm probably fine. Oh, of course. You're always at the beck and call of the goddess of light. Well, angels are messengers of the gods. That's where you're mistaken, Pit. Angels are nothing more than divine interns. <laughs> In any case, wow. be careful of her son's She is so mean. Move. It gets and stronger sassy. with deep breathing. I don't think that's a real doctor. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. He delivers crushing blows, so he must be very knowledgeable about anatomy. He's a quack. <laughs> I hear he treats viruses by randomly throwing medication at them. It doesn't seem very safe. I'm so glad Skyworld doesn't have checkups. Dr. Mario is slower than the regular Mario, but he's also more powerful. Don't get sent to the emergency room. You don't know what kind of treatment you'll get. Oh. Hey, it's Patu. Will you quit calling Ooh, me Dark that? Pit? Now, where did you disappear to after the fight with Hades? Actually, Dark Pit works for me now. He's an officer in the forces of nature. Hmm. What? No way! Just because we fought together once doesn't mean we're all buddy-buddy now. In fact, the Lightning Chariot and Phosphora are also both under my command. The battle isn't over yet. Viridi's interests and mine just happen to overlap. So for this fight, I'll be happy to launch you into the stratosphere. Your powers are perfectly matched here. He's it so angry. Yeah. 
I don't know, I kinda like Dark Pit. That lady's moves are awfully similar to Marth's. That's Lucina. She used to introduce herself as Marth, so certain similarities seem inevitable. What? She stole someone else's identity? Well, it wasn't quite like that. Marth had become a legend by her time, the Hero King. So Lucina hmm. took that name to bolster the morale of her own army. Think of it as a symbol of hope in the depths of despair. That's pretty deep. <laughs> you can't tell by looking at her, but I hear she's got a great sense of humor. I'll try cracking a few jokes and see if that softens her up. <laughs> the tip of her blade doesn't deal as much damage as Mars. Yeah. But her attacks are more balanced, even if they are not tremendously powerful. I don't think I've seen that guy around. Shulk? That's Shulk. He's 18 Shulk. years old and okay. clocks in at 5 feet 6 inches. He's a shorty. That's a pretty fancy sword he's got. That's the Minato, the sword that defeated the Makanis. Might just look that? like a bunch of jokers. The Minato can change Shulk's strengths and weaknesses. For example, it might increase his jumping ability while decreasing his defense. Where's this dude from? So for every yeah. strength he gains, he also gains a weakness. Ah. Yes, and Shulk can KO opponents easier when they've sustained more damage. Hmm. But if you know his weakness, he's not too difficult to deal with. Let's not lose our heads, though. Pac-Man! <laughs> that's Pac-Man. He was born in 1980, which means he's one year older than Mario. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. Another industry veteran. His most famous form is shaped like a pizza missing one slice. He has several attacks in this I thought he was form. even older than that. But the main thing is to avoid him taking a bite out of me. <laughs> yes, especially with those wings of yours. What do you mean? I bet they'd taste great with a little barbecue sauce. Oh. Okay, enough about that. Hey, what? Pac Man! Is that really him? It is really him! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> he busts out his Mega Buster! I want to see his charge shot. Flame Blast! Leaf Shield! Rush coil, metal blade, spark shot, air shooter, trash bomb, <laughs> flame sword, hard knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> They're all fans. Sonic. Sonic really isn't very spiky, is he? Yeah, I've seen spikier. It's mm. true that you're more likely to find him curled up in a cute, harmless ball. Aww. Yeah, you are. Not so harmless. That round shape lets him spin dash with ease. I've changed my mind. He's entirely too spiky. <laughs> Spin dashes are hard to stop, though. Just keep your cool and don't lose focus. You can stop spin attacks using your orbitars or bow. Tell me about this fighter. Who Here the hell? Me brawler. This fight's gonna be really easy if my opponent's unarmed. Listen to Mr. Tough Guy here. That's pretty presumptuous to think that this fight's already. Well, if you can beat little Maggie, you can beat this dude. Oh. Like you're one to talk about looking down on others. Hmm. But Veridi's right. You can't underestimate Veridi. this foe. The Me Brawler is far from being unarmed. Those fists are weapons in and of themselves. They pack a real punch, so you should watch out for even straightforward moves like the side smash. Okay, okay. No talking trash about any of my opponents. At least not until after the fight. <laughs> Just make sure you win if you're gonna talk trash. Uh, back it up. What do we have here? That's a me sword fighter pit. As a general rule of thumb, you should take armed opponents seriously. Which really isn't easy in this case. That me is awfully funny looking. <laughs> no arguments there. But me's are full of special moves, so it's essential to figure out what they're capable of quickly. They often have some unexpected techniques, too. If you get careless, you may find yourself in big trouble. That gear looks like it belongs to me. He keeps, like, changing well, forms, this dude. Honest. Wrong and wrong. That's a me gunner. All of them carry arm cannons and backpacks. <laughs> that backpack looks heavy, but that's because it's filled with different types of ammunition. How do me gunners choose which type of ammo to shoot? There's a motion controlled trigger in the arm cannon. So the stance they take when firing tells me where they're aiming. Motion ah. control. That's downright revolutionary. We should patent that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the goddess of nature has turned into the goddess of commerce. Who's that fellow? He's a wee The other wee trainer. trainer. He's an exercise coach, more or less. Pitt, do you exercise regularly? You know it. Is that because I work you too hard? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Serving you gives my life meaning. I just need to do a little cardio to keep up with your demands. You're so sweet, Pitt. And always at your service, Lady Palatina. Watch out for his sun salutation move. 
It gets stronger with deep breathing. That's one of the Koopalings. Larry Koopa. Larry? Roy Koopa. Wendy O. Koopa. Oh my god. Iggy Koopa. Morton Koopa. I like Wendy O. Lemmy Koopa. Huh. Ludwig von Koopa. That's some crazy hair. Mm -hmm. The resemblance to Bowser Jr. is strong. That Koopa Ludwig von Koopa is the mass Koopa. produced type. I guess as heir to the throne, Bowser Jr. would get preferential treatment. The relationship between Bowser and the Koopalings is a real mystery. I kind of feel bad for them. That's sweet of you, but not very conducive to taking them down, Pitt. All right, so uh, those were nice. Those it, it was cool seeing like a little bit more about some uh, different characters in the games, um, and like some characters I had no idea where they were from. But like for the most part, this covered a lot of games that we did know. Yeah, I was gonna say there is some some great nostalgia built into yeah. this, just kind of with the childhood games that we grew up with. Mm -hmm. um, I did not know that Pac-Man and Mario were so close in age, because to your point, I definitely would have thought Pac-Man was older. Um, yeah. I remember going to a restaurant as a kid, and it was the the kind where they like cook on the table in front of you. It was called Tsukasa's. Um, and the great thing was you would go, and they had a Pac-Man like little tabletop arcade game yeah. in the waiting room. And I just remember playing that so often, and that was probably the first video game I played even before Mario. Um, so I think in my brain, it was just older, but only by a year. Um, I love all of the different childhood games that this introduced for the various characters. I love the talk about how to defeat them. Um, and then I love the fact that they all became little fanboys and girls over <laughs> Mega Man. That oh, was hilarious. Yes. Yeah, because it was fun seeing Pip be a fanboy, like over Mario and some oh, different yeah. characters. But when they all geeked out over Mega Man, that was great. Fantastic. Uh, Pac-Man was actually the one game that my dad had ever, like, ever really played. And he was like really? amazing. It was Miss Pac-Man in particular. He was okay. amazing at Miss Pac-Man. I've never seen anyone as good as my dad at uh, Miss Pac-Man. He was Aww. just like, yeah. He was he was really great at that. Um, so every time Pac-Man comes up, that always makes me think of him. And how did you, how did you play like on like an arcade game or was it like yeah, at he, home on some kind of console? Uh, he mainly played it uh, on an arcade game. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, but I think like you know when we were able to like you know when consoles came out and everything like that, uh, he was able to play it on there as well. But I mean like yeah, I only, mainly saw him play it on uh, in an arcade. He was just yeah, it was it was crazy watching him watching him do it. Like Pac-Man a fun game, but like I was that's never something I was I was super great at but like yeah just watching someone that is as good at pac-man is uh is quite enjoyable agreed so mega man was your favorite one out of all those i think the reaction to mega man mm. was um was my favorite i think having the wii trainers in there was just <laughs> hilarious um and unexpected yeah um and i love for both of them it was like but watch out for the sun salutation like it gets stronger with deep breathe and i just I, I found that very enjoyable. Probably second to that would be the Mario characters just because that's what mm -hmm. I grew up with. So, um, you know, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Koopa, Koopalines, Wario. Yeah. Um, that was my introduction into the, the gaming world. And so have a lot of nostalgia there. Um, and then, of course, Donkey and Diddy. Because that's what we played as as a couple. We, we played together through yep. Donkey Kong World on my... Very, very old Super Nintendo console. Yeah, she was great at the Donkey Kong games, and um, so I played as Diddy, and she was Donkey. She was the lead, and I was, uh, you know, I was backup act. Um, yeah, and so that, that, yeah, Donkey and Diddy, that uh, special place in my heart for that as well. Uh, but I think I like Peach the best, like just because like I, I thought that the conversation around Peach was uh, the funniest when she was like, sometimes I just think like she like me like gets captured on purpose. Yep. <laughs> Be careful with her throwing vegetables. Like I, I, and just every single line in there, I found enjoyable for Princess Peach. Maybe it was because there were some characters I didn't know as well, and like all the lines were were super playful with it. But like I felt like with Princess Peach, like every single line was like a, well, it was a pretty much a joke until they got into like how to how to fight her. Mm. Whereas with some of the other characters, it, it didn't uh, it didn't seem like that. But like yeah, that's why I like Princess Peach the best. With Princess Peach, I really appreciated the sort of, sort of social commentary about the fact that she's just always the damsel. Oh yeah. Um, and so I liked the fact they were kind of making fun of that, but then also talking about how she can be formidable. Um, and it made me think about the Mario movie, which we have not seen yet, but I'm very excited to see. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, right now in a modern audience, just being the helpless damsel isn't really going to play 
So I'm very excited to see what they do with Princess Peach to make this story and sort of these characters more amenable to a modern audience. Yeah. Um, I also like the one that I didn't know who the character was, but he was like uh, a mystical, ma magical, like supernatural arts. And Pitt was like, supernatural? He's like, that sounds crazy. Like that, that's not, you know, I don't know, science based. And then uh, Palutino oh, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. You mean the fact that like I teleport you everywhere. I'm talking to you telepathically and like lists all the things that they're doing that are just, you know, not science based. Um, so I, I like that one as well. And I have to say like, as far as Pelotina and Virali. Uh, I kept trying to track her name every time it came up. Like, uh, yeah, began with a V. That's all I remember. Like a V I of a V. It ended with an I, began with a V. I think it was Virali. Yeah, Virali, Vivali, Vivali, Virati. Um, and then of course, Icarus. These are characters that I never played with on any kind of original Nintendo or Super Nintendo console. Mm. So I'm just curious about that game in particular. Like, were they developed strictly for Smash Brothers? Because I feel like they no. probably weren't. And there's probably another game here. Um, in which case, I am curious about what that game is. Uh, Pits from Kid Icarus. And Kid Icarus was a game originally on Nintendo. Oh, okay. Um, the original I, Nintendo. Too. Yeah, the original the Nintendo. old school Nintendo. I didn't play any of the other games outside of the original Nintendo uh, one. My brothers had an original Nintendo. My brothers also had an original Atari. Um, Qbert was my one of my favorite games on in, in Atari. So, yeah. So, like, my brother is, my oldest brother is 20 years older than me. So, um, and like I'm the youngest of seven. So there's a, there's a lot of age, a big age gap there. And I was able to, you know, but it helped me out. Like, you know, I got into like classic rock and I got to like fun games and everything. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I don't know too much about the other ones. Uh, I remember like vaguely some, some things about Kid Icarus. I remember it was a tough game um, for sure. But uh, I feel like all the like Nintendo games like back in the day were like super tough to, to play. And like, yeah, I remember you had to like write down like after you beat a level, you had to like write down the passcode <laughs> so that you could like, when you log back in, you could uh, restart the level. And so since there weren't like, like save cards or anything, um, but yeah. So yeah, it was not just developed just for Smash Brothers. Okay. So have... That question I can answer actually. I have learned something new. <laughs> yes. And for me, no doubt. I mean, that, that never really happens, you know? Um, we always learn from you all, which is yes. great. Go ahead and Thank leave you. us some knowledge down below in the comments. And if you want all of our Smash Brothers reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for our Smash Brothers, Wii U, all Palutena's guidance secret conversations, which you keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.